June 6, 1944, D-Day, Saint-Marie de Mont, a village in France about three and a half miles away from Utah Beach that no one gave a fuck about until World War II. Now, just north of the village was the Braycor Manor, which held the number six battery of the 90th Artillery Regiment of the German Army with four 105mm howitzers. These guns were firing on the Exit 2 at Utah Beach, which led into the village. These guns needed to be dealt with as they could just fuck up the beach. This is where Easy Company, part of the 2nd Battalion, 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division would step up, which was being temporarily led by the greatest ginger of all time, Richard Winters. Now, this assault features in Banner Brothers Episode 2, Day of Days. If you haven't seen Banner Brothers, just like, what the fuck have you been doing with your life? Just go watch it. Reconnaissance would tell Winters that it would be up against a 50-man platoon with some MG42s. So, he positioned two M1919 machine guns to provide cover and fire and sent three soldiers, 2nd Lieutenant Compton, Sergeant Bill Garnier and Private Bullshit to one flank. Winters and his men move into position, but he sees one German soldier moving along the trench and takes him out. The three on the flank move up and take out a German gun position with grenades and then rush into that position. Winters would charge from his position into the trench line with more of his men and one of them, Private Popeye, would get wounded in his ass. The Germans at the first gun would retreat with Winters taking out two of them and Compton taking out the last with a grenade to the head. Fucking savage. Well, the guy was named an all-conference catcher and an all-American selection in 1942 for baseball, so the guy had some skills. Winters would then move to focus on the next gun, moving down the trench and taking out another two Germans who were setting up an MG42. Grenades were thrown at the second gun, taking out two more, while another two retreated down the trench system. The two American MGs move up from their original position into the trenches so they could provide more effective fire against the remaining enemy. Private First Class Hall arrives with more ammo and men and assaults the third gun, but he is killed. Six Germans are taken prisoner from the assault on the third gun. Back at the second gun, Winters would find German documents detailing every German artillery and machine gun position in Normandy. This information is quickly sent back to Battalion HQ. Then, the legend himself, Lieutenant Ronald C. Spears arrives with some men from Dog Company and they assault the last gun, losing two men with another one wounded. The scene that shows this final assault in Banner Brothers is literally the only reason why my friends and I named a squad we would play and create in Battlefield 2, Dog Company. Let's go Dog Company! With the final gun destroyed, everyone would withdraw. Colonel Sink, the commander of the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, recommended Winters for the Medal of Honor. But this was downgraded to the Distinguished Service Cross, the second highest medal in the American Army. The only reason he didn't get the Medal of Honor is fucking bullshit. There was a policy of awarding one Medal of Honor per division, and when it came around to handing out the medals, someone from the 101st had already been given the Medal of Honor, Colonel Robert G. Cole, which I will cover in a later video. Silver stars would be handed out to Compton, Garnier and Lorraine, bronze stars to Lipton, Popeye, Petty, Hendricks, Bullshit, Ranny, Liebgott, Flesher, Toy, Halls and Hook, with purple hearts going to Popeye, Halls and Hook. If you like the video and you want to support more videos like this, then please give it a like and comment down below. And let me know what other World War II stuff you'd like to see on the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified about more videos. And a big thank you to the current channel supporters, which you will see here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.